Recently, I'm getting a lot of questions from medical students and their question basically surrounds this topic that a lot of uh, social media influencers are sharing their videos and their experience and their scores on social media platform and that actually kind of develop unrealistic goals in medical students and when they don't score that good they feel disheartened and their morale gets down and they even like think about quitting the process just on the basis of not scoring that good so that means like even they are getting average or above average scores but they have this unrealistic goal and they compare themselves with these people and they think that they are not good for the match hello guys my name is dr gaurav mudgal I, I am an international medical graduate who has recently matched into internal medicine residency program at detroit i'll be talking about this topic in this video because this topic has been asked a lot of times and i do want to create an awareness among the medical students community that nothing can define your success not your scores not your other stuff your consistency persistence and your hard work defines your success in this journey of usmle i faced the same uh, situation i used to uh, watch a lot of videos from the social media influencers that they have scored really high on their step 1 step 2 and that kind of developed unrealistic goal and i was comparing myself with them and uh, i developed that like if i score 265 or above then i'll be good like i'll match into the residency otherwise my chances will be like very less so at that time what happened was like when i got my result i scored 248 and that is actually uh, above average or i would say like that is a very good score but in my head i i was very disappointed with my performance because i was comparing myself with like people with 265 or 270 or 275 so i didn't talk to anyone for two days i didn't celebrate my step one result and i didn't do anything for two days and then after two days i called my mentor and i told him that like this thing has happened and first he actually laughed at me and said like you are a stupid person if you are comparing yourself with these people then you are just like fooling yourself you are just like being an idiot he just said like that and i asked him why do you think like that because everybody is getting 260 or 265 or 270 so he said you are just like ignoring the full picture you are not seeing 100% community you are just like seeing 3 or 4% of the community like other 97 or 96% people are average people they score average scores and they match into residency so don't compare yourself with these people try to be content with your performance you work really hard you give 100% and everything is not in your hand and this score is really good you have good chances of matching after this long discussion he gave me a lot of advices and i do want to share those advices with you because not right now if i am helping one person i'll be happy that i change their perception and they'll be happy that their journey is theirs not somebody else's journey first advice he gave me was don't develop any unrealistic goals so that means he said this clearly that average step scores means like average people who scored on step is this like usually it is 230 or 225 to 230 so if you are beyond that that means like you have good foundation of clinical knowledge and you have great chance of matching you just have to work over on overall application not just your steps the second advice he gave me was like talk to other people talk to your mentors talk to your colleagues who have scored like this in their journey and they got matched so talk to those people because they'll give you the realistic picture not the social media platform the third advice he gave me was follow these influencers just to learn from them not to compare yourself or not to develop unrealistic goals so this advice i do want to give you guys like follow those people for their strategy like learn from them but not compare yourself with them fourth advice that he gave me was even if you are scoring low or average scores on your exam that doesn't define anything like your score doesn't define that what kind of doctor or like will you be able to treat patient because that doesn't define your capabilities your score is that particular day 
So if somebody is like very knowledgeable and has a lot of clinical acumen but he could not perform that well or like he is not a good test taker then that doesn't define that that person is not a good doctor. So I believe that your step scores are just for letting other people know that you know the stuff, you know medical science and you can implement that into your practice. But it doesn't mean that you will be a very famous doctor. In my opinion, that's what I developed during this journey. Failure actually makes you more strong, more compassionate, more empathetic towards other people. Because failure teaches you a lesson. That means like when you have failure, you work on yourself, you improve yourself and you get to know the lacunae in your character or your personality or your thought process and you modify and and learn from it and become more strong more knowledgeable so now i would like to talk to you about what kind of qualities a, that makes a doctor great so first is compassion you need to have compassion all those people who face failure are more compassionate as compared to all those people who haven't faced failures or who are successful at like every time second thing empathy so you develop empathy for other people like you get like you understand the situation of other people because you have been there third thing is that your failure teaches you to work under stress or learn from it and work under stress means like a lot of doctors work under stress and in that situation all those people who have seen failure they work more efficiently as compared to all those people who haven't seen that becoming a doctor you don't have to top or ace every exam but you need to have certain values and certain things in your character that will make you great. I have seen this quality in great doctors that they understand the pain and suffering of their patients or the people around them and they try to help them. So the best doctors are those who understand that and I guess all those people who don't even score really high but they have these values they will become more successful at, as compared to all those people who are really good test takers but don't have these qualities to conclude this video with the following suggestions study really hard and learn the clinical science and uh, get the clinical knowledge so that you can help other people help your patients by this way you can make change in the society second advice or suggestion I will give you is that never ever judge anyone on the basis of their scores or their clinical knowledge and also never ever compare yourself with other people. Your journey is yours. Just compare yourself with the person you were yesterday, not with other people. Third suggestion I would give you is that people with every score and average profile matches. The only thing they do is they work really hard on their application CV and they put a lot of stuff in there and they diversify it and that actually increases their chance. Fourth suggestion will be how you can strengthen your CV. So first recommendation I will be giving you is like try to score good on your steps. Second advice will be try to get into research and try to do research with uh, people and make connection with them, meet other people, learn from them and the third advice I will give you is like rotation. So I mean, American healthcare system learn from them and uh, try to get as much as possible so that your clinical acumen can increase and your letter writer will understand you and when you rotate at a hospital you develop connection with them professional connection really helps in getting interviews and they will actually get you match quality of work so that your CV can be diversified and the doctors or the program directors can see that this person has values in him or her. Make your CV diverse so that people can connect with you and people can really consider you for the match or like residency position. In the end, this is what I will give, you, give to you. I want to conclude this video with the following message that never ever compare yourself. Your journey is yours. You are the master. Try to learn from your mistake. Try to become better than yesterday and also like uh, if you have any problem, anything, discuss with other people and learn from other people. Work really hard and stay positive in this journey. This process is long and tedious, but your positive attitude and uh, persistence can get you anywhere. So with this, I want to sign off this video. Good luck to you guys. Thank you very much. Take care. Bye-bye.